Hey guys, it's Zach, and today we are doing something really, really cool, I think. Uh, so I found this template on YouTube, I think it was YouTube, and then the guy linked it uh, to his Twitter account, and it was designed the legacy line. Well, I've tried to keep up with the Transformers news, rumors, leaks, and stuff, and I thought this would be a fun idea to do for the second chapter, which is supposedly going to be called Transformers Evolution, which I designed the logo up there. Uh, took a couple of different logos, spliced them together, and I think it turned out really cool. So this is a kind of a slideshow of who I would want to be in the Transformers Evolution line for 2023. As we all know, <laughs> not all of these, or if any of these are gonna get picked, there's always package refreshes from previous lines. Um, so I just kinda went crazy with this. Some of these were rumored already for next year. So just kind of uh, <laughs> follow along with me, see what you think. All right, first up for our commander class, uh, I chose Tidal Wave. I love Tidal Wave. Armada's Tidal Wave is great. Um, a lot of people want him to be a Titan, but if he's going to combine with Megatron, I really think a commander would be the best choice for this character. Uh, just when you take him apart, uh, he would scale really well with Jetfire, and maybe along the lines we could get uh, a broadside, maybe? I know he would probably be bigger than the other Triple Changers, but, uh, I mean, they're kind of the same alt mode, so I think it'd be pretty cool to, to have these go head-to-head, -head. but definitely a Commander class for Tidal Wave to combine with Megatron. And speaking of Megatron, our first leader for Evolution would be Armada Megatron. What better leader what better Megatron to have uh, than Armada Megatron. There was a rumor saying there was going to be a Megatron with a helicopter alt mode, which I guess represents animated, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, but hopefully we can do some shifting and get some Armada Megatron love. Um, I think this would be a really cool gimmick for Evolution to have not only Megatron, but Tidal Waves combined with him and just really power him power him up and he look really good on the shelf. My next leader for evolution is uh, Prime Optimus Prime. Uh, I haven't watched all of Prime, but this is a really, really, really cool figure. I heard that this figure was actually rumored uh, to be in evolution as a Voyager, uh, as a remold of Bulkhead. But I don't know how that's going to work. So just, just pump it up and give us a leader Optimus Prime. I don't really know too much about Prime. haven't watched all of it, but definitely cool design. Next up is my buddy Octane. The triple changer, the last one uh, for the original G1. We had Astro Train and Siege. And then we had Blitzwing and Legacy. Let's bring Evolution around to complete this trilogy off. Give us Octane. I definitely think that the leader class makes these triple changers uh, really, really uh, complex in the way that they are really represented beautifully. Octane looked really great uh, with the Takara Legends uh, Titan's Return Mold. I have the Japanese version of that, and he's a beautiful character. Came with a little ghost star scream head. But I really want to see what Hasbro's car could do at a leader price point. Next up, we have the Decepticon Straxis. Oh my gosh, so I just recently learned about this Decepticon uh, within the last year or two. A uh, third-party company made like a little mini version, and he's a, a a retool of their Galvatron mold. He turns his cannon with this different uh, 
cannon barrel, and he's really, really beautiful. And I really think Hasbro should definitely go that direction with this character. Uh, remold Galvatron from the Kingdom Legacy line. Uh, give it a new barrel, new head sculpt. Have this guy transform a very similar way uh, and bring to life this comic character. They recently did Giaxis, uh that was announced. And Giaxis looks really cool. So I would love to see Straxxus um, kind of the same way. So hopefully it's something that will uh, definitely... Uh, come to be. So those are our four leaders. You know, we usually get about three or four in the line. And uh, we're going to move on to the Voyagers. First up is Starscream, or Thundercracker, from the Armada mold. Uh, as of this time, Voyager Legacy Starscream from Armada has not been announced. But he's in Wave 3, and so why not just give us Thundercracker in Evolution. And they could call him Starscream or Thundercracker, whatever they wanted. Um, but this is kind of the obvious choice uh, to do Thundercracker with then <laughs> Skywarp being exclusive like he always is. Next up is Sandstorm, the Triple Changer Sandstorm. Uh, I think this would be a really good choice for Voyager. The... Uh, um, Triple Changers are lots and lots of fun, and uh, we haven't had a Sandstorm in a while. Uh, we had Springer in uh, Siege, and then we are getting Springer again in the Amazon 2-packs with, I believe, one of the Fossilizers as part of the Wreckers uh, special packs. So I say bring on Sandstorm. Uh, you use some of that uh, skeleton, I guess, of Springer, and uh, we could have uh, um, Sandstorm and Octane <laughs> be buddies again like they were in uh, good old Season 3. Uh, this one, <laughs> I don't think is going to happen. Uh, Polar Claw, he was seen in promotional art uh, for Kingdom, and he was scrapped. I had the original Polar Claw figure as a kid, and I love polar bears. Um, I always thought he was a really cool character. Um, he usually uh, was kind of uh, told to go head to head with Scorponok because they had those little drones. Uh, polar Claw had the bat, Scorponok had the bee. Um, and so I guess they're kind of uh, rivals, I guess, in that way. But I would love to have a Voyager Polar Claw, and we could get a whole bunch of, of repaints from him. Uh, definitely like a We, we, be, we Bear Bears uh, <laughs> Polar Claw trilogy, you know, a polar bear, a panda bear, um, and a brown bear. Uh, I just think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely. You got the gimmick where he, like, turns his head around and has his mutant face. Um, I just think he's a really cute character, too. Um, and of course, there he is on the cover of IDW Comics, um, as of 2022. So, uh, yeah, that'd be a really good choice. I don't think it'll happen, but I'm definitely, uh, rooting for it to happen. Next up, Voyager Prime Soundwave. I love Soundwave. No matter what, uh, universe he's popping in from, this, uh... This design looks kind of funky and weird and crazy, but I love it. Um, can't go wrong with Soundwave. I know we got that crazy Siege Mold again in Legacy. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen with the Shattered Glass version, but I'm all about this. Like, bring on more Soundwaves. I, I'm definitely all about this, so bring, bring it on. Give us another Prime character. Um, especially if it can be Soundwave. Next up, another one I don't think is very likely, but <laughs> Voyager Class Leo Convoy or Leo Prime. Um, I really want Primal, Leo Convoy, and Big Convoy in the same scale um, with some uh, current engineering, and I don't think that's going to happen. 
uh, knowing that, you know, the Japanese V-Source series aren't as popular over here, but I really think that Lyra Convoy, um, Ludio Prime would be a really cool figure to get, and maybe there would be a way to, like, retool him into the little, uh, tiger guy from, uh, uh, Galaxy Force, or Cybertron, uh, for, uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime that we got in Siege as well, uh, for the Unicron Trilogy. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, that's not very far off, I, uh, but I would definitely like to see it. And, of course, um, we don't get a lot of Voyagers, so I put two spaces for package refreshes, uh, two... Um, characters that we could bring back from other lines, whether it's Blaster or if it is Bulkhead or Armada Starscream or Deoxys, whoever it might be, these would be two spots for some refreshes. But if I had to choose another Voyager, I would say Lug Knight uh, from animated um i have the t i guess he's the united takara lug nut and boy is he beautiful with his color schemes um he's so unique with his engineering and i have him next to slipstream um any anime fans out there familiar with like the the girl that's really bossy and like strong and arrogant, and they always have that best friend that's a really big dumb guy. Um, example, like in Monster Rancher uh, with Pixie and Big Blue, I kind of have them together in that dynamic because it just makes sense in my head. But um, yeah, I, if I had to choose another one, it'd be Lug Knight just because he's goofy and funny, and why not? And, again, if I had to pick another one, I would say Breakdown from <laughs> Prime. Um, we uh, recently uh, just got um, a Prime figure um, in the announcement of Wave 2 uh, with... Um, what's his name? Uh... The red guy, his boyfriend, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, um, but uh, yeah, him, we need him to go with the red guy, my my brain is, uh, is blanking on his name uh, for at the moment, but yeah, I mean, if we have one, I, I know they're like gay icons within Prime, so um, we need both of them, right? And he could be a remold of, of Bulkhead. Knockout. That's his name. Knockout. Uh, so we would have we had Knockout and Legacy. So it just makes sense for us to have his boyfriend break down in Evolution. And he could be a remold of Bulkhead. And uh, I think the sizing scale for that would work pretty well. So, um, yeah. Like, that'd be perfect. So these are my Voyager picks. Now for the deluxes. First up is Scrapnel. Yes, Scrapnel. Um, I think he'd be a good one because I think um, Bombshell is going to come in, in the 86 series. So it makes sense to put him here, I think. Um, and then we could get a retool into shop, Chop Shop for the Deluxe and Sexicons. Um, yeah, I, I from a marketing perspective, I think that would make the best sense to put uh, Shrapnel in Evolution and um, to put Bombshell in the 86 line. That's the only reason I put him here. Next up is from the Headmaster Juniors, Cab, or 
as we kn know him over here, uh, Hosehead. He's actually rumored, he was actually rumored for Legacy, and then he was pushed aside, I think, to go to Evolution. Um, we're getting Minerva as a Walgreens exclusive. Hopefully she's retooled into a Headmaster. So let's continue that trend of getting the Headmaster Juniors. Let's get Cab. Um, I have the, the Takara Legends Headmaster version that came with the limited edition 2-pack of God Jinrai. Uh, so I'd definitely like to get a uh, um, an actual version of Cab uh, slash Hose Head. I don't know what he'd be a retool into, but he's my choice for number two of the deluxes. And going on that uh, stream or of things that were rumored and no and pushed to the side, uh, we have Nightbeat. Um, this is a picture of IEW Nightbeat, but I'd really like a um, a G one esque Nightbeat as a headmaster. Uh, it was rumored that he was going to be in a legacy with, as with a selects um, shooter, go shooter. But I think that was pushed into Evolution 2. So I just want to continue the Headmaster Junior gimmick. Um, bring the Headmaster Juniors over. Let's knock out our Autobot team, our Autobot threesome um, plus Nightbeat. I have a custom uh, Nightbeat that I made out of a whole bunch of um, different third-party parts. So the old IDW version um, is now a Headmaster, um, which I'm loving. And that means a lot to me. But I love an official version of Nightbeat. His uh, color, his blue color is really pretty. Um, then, let's round out our Target Master, Autobot Target Master team. We have Point Blank coming in with three of Legacy. Um, and then we are going to need um, Sure Shot to complete that uh, trilogy. So, Sure Shot be a perfect plug-in for um, evolution because uh, we can evolve past our single target masters. Um, this is just a completed team and I think this would be the best place for it. I love the double uh, I love the double target masters and I want us to complete the regular target masters so we can get on to those guys. So let's finish our, our trilogy um, with this. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Uh, bring in some Beast Wars characters. Um, I am all about Silverbolt. Um, it's almost time for that trademark to come up. Everybody is wanting combining aerial bots. But give me this guy. Like, we have Black Arachnia. We, we, need, we need her boyfriend. Uh, we need the Maximal Knight. The brave warrior, the romantic at heart, Silverbolt. We need him. We need him. I love that character so much. Um, I always thought he was really just a romantic type of Transformer um, growing up, and he was always like he always followed his heart, and he always led him to Black Arachne, and they ended up in together in the end. Um, it, it's it's just a better love story than Twilight. And connection with him, we need his counterpart, Quick Strike, the Decepticon Fusor, uh, the the Scorpion Cobra. Um, I would like to see these two released in the same line, if not as a two pack. I don't think there's a lot of retooling that you could do to make any one of these characters into somebody else. So, they couldn't be exclusives, but I would like to see these uh, two done, if not in two-pack, in Legacy as Deluxes. Next up, we have Gears! G1 Gears! Um, we haven't gotten a Gears yet. Uh, we had one, I think, in Generations that was really crappy. And I didn't really like it. It was kind of not my thing. Wasn't feeling it. 
And um, he was in promotional art for Kingdom as well with my buddy Polar Claw. And scrapped. Gears is such a fun, iconic character from the original G1 series. Mr. Grumpy himself. Um, if you don't know, they're redoing the mini bots and deluxes like Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. Um, bring this guy in the mix. Let's let's start that that redefining of the mini bots. Let's get him out and get our grumpy old man on our shelf. Cause if you're like me, you didn't get that generations one because it looks so bad. You don't have the third party one that scales scales with the uh, Titans Return. Uh, legend scales one, then kind of gearless. So let's get him, and then, and then let's get his remold into Swerve. Uh, we didn't get a good Swerve either. We had a remold of that crappy uh, Generations figure, and we know these are usually uh, retools of each other. So this one would only make sense. I feel like. Um, if not in the main line as a selects figure, and then these two can be re recolored into those GoBot figures. Um, I'm not really sure their names, but I know Gears' character is a, a girl with a orange color scheme with some really fabulous lipstick. Uh, I I don't even know. She's giving me. Jets and vibes. Um, but yeah, Swerving Gears definitely needed to round out our mini bots. Um, and I just think this would make sense just because we haven't had them uh, redone and refreshed yet. Then let's backtrack it to Armada with Hotshot. Hotshot is a great character to put in this, this line. Uh, we had uh, the original Hotshot in Armada. Then we had the um, Generations one. And I definitely think bringing Hotshot into Evolution not only says so much about the evolution of the Transformers brand, but also as a character who came a long way from being kind of a rookie uh, into... Uh, a well-developed fighter and uh, he has a little red repaint that we could do and I would just love to to start building up that that armada line um, that would be great next up is this guy I think his name is burnout uh, don't quote me on that I don't think that's it if it is great if it's not I don't know. Uh, this is from Transformers uh, Robots in the Sky 2001. I briefly remember watching this show on Fox Kids. It wasn't too wonderful, but I thought this guy was really cool because he had his little, like, sca Dragon Ball scattered over his eye. Um, and he was really pretty blue color, which is my favorite color. Um, and we don't really have any love from that series of Transformers. And as a series that's evolved over time, we have to have something representing that period. So I say uh, Mr. Cool Blue Scatter Guy, uh, Burnout maybe, uh, he's my next choice. Just because I feel like that series needs some love and we don't see a lot of it. Next on my list is Arachnid. I like her. I don't know very much about her. Because um, I haven't seen all of Prime. But I think she's really cool. I think that we could take the Black Arachnia mold and the Tarantulas mold. Do something cool with it. Have our Queen Spider leader Spider Gang. I want to see what they can do with the engineering now. I know that figure really sucked back when it was released. All my friends that have this figure hate this figure. Um, not the character, but the figure and its engineering. So I'd really like to see uh, what this figure could be in today's engineering. Curiosity got the best of me at this one. 
Next up is a special character. This, uh, I be- if I remember correctly, his name is Jolt. He's from Generation 2. I had this figure. He was a hot rod, and he had the sword. And when you plug the sword into the hand, you move the light, the, the little electronic light from the engine to the underneath the hand, and the sword lit up. And no way this figure is going to get made anytime soon, but this figure means a lot to me. Uh, a lot to my childhood. It was my favorite uh, G2 Transformer besides Purple G2 Megatron. And uh, I love this character. I don't think it's going to ever be picked up anytime soon. But if I had to choose, it'd be him uh, to get a new figure. So I had to stick him here for personal reasons. Next up, Hound. We have a uh, a really interesting Siege Hound, but it's not an Earth Mode Hound. Um, we just need an Earth Mode Hound. Give me a new Earth Mode Hound. I love the Generations figure. It's great. But I need Hound. And then give me Detritus. Why don't we get a Detritus from the Siege Mold? That's crazy. I want that in Selects. But I want, I want a... Uh, Earth Bone Hound. So let's uh, let's make this happen because we need to update. Get away from that Cybertronian mold. Um, with some kind of cool hologram effect of some sort with his little gun and maybe like a slidey visor or something for when he's underwater fighting Rumble. Would be cool. <laughs> Alright, next up. Nautica, if you're like me and you missed out on that box set from Toys R Us because you just couldn't afford it at that time in your life, and now you look back and you're like, damn, that Nautica is now over $100 and it's a headmaster and another retool blur and it fills that spot but just doesn't fill that spot in your heart. We need a new Nautica, submarine, uh, something, something with her, please. I love this character. She's so beautiful. Um, scientist, she builds things. She's just great and a beautiful character. We need some more female love from our Transformers. And I'm tired of RC. I'm tired of Alita. Let's get another Nautica. No more Chromias either. Let Nautica, Nautica, like, like that's what we need. Let's 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 bring her back. Let her have a her little visor. Give her a, a wrench or something. Make those turbines spin. Um, if not, figure, give us a model kit like you did Windblade. Something, something, something. I mean, yeah. Um. Another reason I chose her is I think that um, you could use kind of a modified skeleton of Scourge and the sweeps, but in a smaller proportion. So um, maybe something like that, though I don't know what you'd do with the wings, but something would make a good Nautica. I don't know what you retool her into. Um, Windblade, maybe? <laughs> we could always use another Windblade. Um, but I like Nautica. She's a really cool character. Um, I think she'd be really cool um, buddies with Sea Spray. And uh, I would love to see them in an adventure fighting the Sea Cons. So... It'd be cool just to have a decent figure for that wasn't all over the place, like the uh, Titans Return version. Now, here comes the controversy. Because we've had this character on many votes, and yet our boy doesn't get love. Needle Nose, Needle Nose, uh, Needle Nose. We need Needle Nose. We have Quake, crappy Quake. Uh, we have Spinister. Now we need Needle Nose. We need Needle Nose. Hasbro, we need Needle Nose. Uh, there was rumors saying this character was going to be 
a major retool of the Siege Starscream. And I don't think we need another Siege Seeker Jet. Um, I say give Neil knows his original airplane mode, make him kind of tall, and then let's get another Quake. Let's redo Quake. Let's let's redo Quake, please soon. Double target masters would be awesome. Um, this would complete our trilogy. So we got another Quake. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, feeling this. We need this. It's much overdue. Uh, they have the CAD file at Hasbro. People that have talked to people of Hasbro said that that part of the character figure is done, just locked away, sitting there. Let's put it in production. Why keep your hands on something so awesome? Yes, he lost votes. But he's worth it. He's worth it. He's worth it. Um, and then let's move on to the Autobot Double Target Masters. Can I get Scoop, please? Like, let's start off with Scoop. Let's redo Scoop. Redo him. Give him his little target master buddies, and let's do the other two guys, um, whoever they are. Um, I know they're little uh, construction machines too. Let's let's get these double target masters going. Let's start with Scoop, redo him, give him an update. Then let's do Quick Mix, and I forgot the other dude's name, but double target masters. Let's go. Now, as for our HasLab, I say Desaurus. Uh, I know a lot of people were talking about how Double Dealer um, had some really like likely engineerings that could be retooled into Desaurus. But since we have Star Saber as our HasLab, we need to make this guy a HasLab. Make him in scale, give him all his little chest buddies. And I think it'd be really cool if one of the tiers was interchangeable wings and head where you can make in the IDW version. I think that would be really fantastic. Uh, go all out. Give him a stand. Uh, give him like a different like uh, griffin head as well. And that way you can choose if you want the IDW version or the victory version. I think that would be really cool. I think you'd sell just as many units as Star Saber. I know he didn't win the fan vote, but he's a really cool guy, really creepy. He's in the IDW comics. He has two different distinct um, looks. And I know some third-party third, third party company, um, they they did, like, two different versions based on this source. They did an IDW version, and they did a Transformers Victory version. And he had to buy two of them. But Hasbro's in this, this thing right now, at least with Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, where he came with two different heads. So, parts, options, customization. Let's make that uh, part of this figure, please. And thank you. And as for our Titan, I would say Grandis. I would say Grandis. But I'm going to go with the Nemesis. Uh, just because I think it's more likely. We have the Ark. Give us the nemesis. I don't know what it would transform into. That would be really interesting. I couldn't even tell you. I, I, I wouldn't know. I know the nemesis transformed into Trypticon in one of the video games. But we already have Trypticon. So let's make it like a unique character. Like, uh, I know the, uh, the Ark was like the last Autobot and had like the Autobot head. So we could turn the nemesis into like a... Tarn-like figure and have it have like a Decepticon face. That seems like a good idea. Um, I'm all I'm all aboard for that. Um, maybe give him like a little chest buddy too, like the Ark had. And uh, I don't know what that would represent, but Hasbro and Takara are geniuses at what they do. And this is my lineup for Transformers Evolution. Most of these probably won't see the light of day for evolution, but this is my wish list. Um, this is what I want. This is what I would like to see. 
we definitely won't get as many figures. And, um, definitely won't, um, see a couple of these obscure characters. But, this is my wish list for Chapter 2 Evolution, if that's what they decide to call it. Which, that was the rumor, so that's what I'm sticking with. Leave your comment down below what you'd like to see. Um, do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? Why? Why not? Be kind. And uh, let's turn this into a discussion. Uh, again, I'm Zach. This is part one of my video. I have another one coming um, in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. And until then, uh, God bless.